Maguire Interactive. We're the guys who did Killing Floor, Red Orchestra, games like that. We're showing, um, <laughs> yeah, Killing Floor, you'll see the tra some of the trailers running, which has got people who don't know Killing Floor are kind of going, what? Um, what we're showing at PAX this year, PAX 2013, is Red Orchestra and Rising Storm, the new game mode for that, which is, uh, we're calling Skirmish. What we're doing here is just trialing out some ideas for Skirmish. It's kind of a terrorist hunt mix of that and uh, horde mode. We're trying to find out which, you know, which would people enjoy more. Maybe we'll do both. Where you'll spawn in with a few friends, take on all the enemy AI. We've got it set up at the moment uh, as a terrorist hunt style. So the people actually have to go find the bad guys. Although they're getting kind of aggressive and they'll come find you. We're also looking, we might try out um, much more of a horde mode where you, you know, we hunker you down as Americans and have a whole herd of Japanese banzai at you or something. So that's uh, what's going on directly behind me. The other game we're showing for the first time here at PAX is Killing Floor Calamity for the Ouya. Um, now this is completely new, it's the first time anyone's seen it, the first time anyone's played it. And that's where we've taken Killing Floor, which is you know, Unreal Engine, first person shooter on PC. And what we're doing is doing a, a top-down take on it. You know, trying, to do, trying to get Unreal Engine running on, um, on the Ouya. We've done it, but it's pretty hard work. You've got to kind of slash and burn. So we've built the game from scratch. It's a top-down shooter. Four person, sit on the couch, four controllers, go slap your friends around. You know, if you want to get back to that old, you know, that old couch gaming thing, that was one of the inspirations was uh, you know, the old game Gauntlet, you know, which is a great old arcade game. And, you know, somewhere back in the 80s and 90s, four people just go trash a bunch of enemies. Uh, so with Killing Floor Calamity, which, you know, where we're going with that is say, four players, top down, all the characters, guns, monsters and everything else you're used to from Killing Floor, the same wave based mechanic, all of that. Adding in a few extras for this version of the game, you know, like you can level all your guns up, uh, all your weapons up as well as all your characters. Um, you know, there's you know, a lot more leveling you can do. You know, in, the, in the core game we went up to six, now on this we're going up to 20 levels. Because people love leveling. Um, you know, all the weapons aren't available on day one, you kind of have to kind of earn them. So, again, we're actually playing that for the first time ever here. Again, we want that feedback. We want people to get to give us a feel for, you know, hey, if you're a hardcore Killing Floor fan, you know, is this the sort of thing where you go, oh, no, what have you done to Killing Floor? Or is it just, hey, it's another way to play Killing Floor? Excellent. We're actually finding, so far, I think, that everyone who's you know, a big Killing Floor fan immediately gets in, you know, it's Killing Floor with all the same stupid stuff, cool stuff, fun stuff, you know, Blow, blow shit up and look fun while you're doing it. Just in a different format, on a different box. Um, so that's the other piece we're doing. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, the, the classic questions. When will both be re released? We've kind of learned the lesson on that one, to never say, oh, next month or next week, or until we know. Um, and we're also, yeah, we're independent, we're in the, the luxury position that no one's telling us when our games are ready. So, the new mode for Rising Storm Red Orchestra, that'll be, the, we're looking at the next couple of months, um, a release on that new mode. We want to mess around a bit more with the AI, with the balance, and think about how that one plays out. Um, and Calamity, again, we're looking at the next couple of months. Um, you know, the game is done, but we haven't got all the balance done, and there's a lot of balancing to do. You know, you've got all those player levels, you've got all the difficulty levels, it's got to be the right challenge across all those levels and all that stuff. And that's, yep, it sounds trivial, but it's a lot of work. I mean, the game is there, it's running, knock on wood, it hasn't crashed once while we're doing it, you know, it's an alpha version, so we've had a good show with it. Um, so both of those, the next couple of months is roughly what we're looking at.